When I was in the eighth grade, I was part of a youth choir. We went on a tour of France. And so this was a fantastic opportunity to travel from town to town and perform in their local cathedrals. And I remember just being in awe of these magnificent structures. In the age of Gothic architecture, the structure of the building was the form. There's no sort of steel framing holding up the arches. This shape that's created by the hanging chain, this is called a catenary curve. And if you were to flip the shape of the chain upside down, that happens to be the perfect shape for an arch to stand under pure compression. The arches that you see in Gothic buildings, they follow this rule. When I look at this chain, I, I imagine the cathedrals of the world. In modern structures, you can create some crazy forms and support that in some way. An example of that could be this auditorium. It's called the Kresge Dome. It's a reinforced concrete shell. And when it was originally constructed, because the spherical shape is not actually a very structurally efficient shape, when the supports were taken away after the construction, the buildings started to deform. And it deformed so much that they had to reconstruct that shell. And what I'm trying to do is to compute the forces within the structures and show a visualization of those forces to the architect very early on in the design stage, giving some sort of a hint or guidance that says, if you change the shape in this way, or if you added a support in that location, you still have your, your vision, but you'll have to use less material and it will be more economical. One fun application is that if you create visualizations, you can also knock them down. What I love about what I do is that there's these engineering principles that have been around for ages. And if you follow those structural principles, what you're going to get is something that also looks beautiful.